According to the Indiana Department of Corrections, 33.8% of adults in prison return to incarceration within three years of release. This issue of recidivism spurred a local organization to action, creating a program for recently released individuals. Nicole Christine met with program leaders to learn more about this process. She joins us with their efforts to keep people from being coming imprisoned again. And it's an issue, isn't it? It's it is serious. an issue, yeah. And the Hamilton Center's New Citizen Program, which mm -hmm. is this program, began as a conversation between two men, one of whom was behind bars mm -hmm. at the time. The conversation focused on how that man could create a new and better life once he was released least a life that could inspire others to better themselves as well. When Melvin Burke started the new citizen program for recently incarcerated individuals, he had one goal in mind. It was based upon believing in second chance, giving individuals the responsibility to come back and live like a new citizen, like everyone else, slates white clean. Through the program, participants complete a one-year probationary period of training in departments throughout Hamilton Center. The program also includes a weekly meeting with a mentoring committee, which program leaders say is a crucial part. We just want to make sure everyone is on the up and up, showing you the respect that you're supposed to get, and just working you some of the problems that you may have uh, re-entering the community. Some of us may have been gone for 10 years, you don't know what a debit card looks like. Tattoo Brown was the first person to go through the new citizen program after his release from prison. He not only completed the program, but is now the coordinator of youth outreach services at Hamilton Center and says he believes others are likely to follow his path if given the chance to. When individuals get a second chance, they will prove to you how much they want to be there. They will prove to you how much... Uh, they appreciate you or appreciate this business or appreciate the opportunity based on where they came from. Getting participants away from their previous environment is another crucial part of the program. Many times those that are coming out of incarceration are going back to the same living environment, the same neighborhood, the same um, culture that they were in before they got incarcerated. So if they can have a new pathway, um, a new experience, a new opportunity, that will help decrease that risk. And Burke says the program is not only beneficial for participants, but also the wider population. We should understand that for our community, that forgiveness pathway will create a stronger community. To be accepted into the new citizen program, there's an application and interview process where an applicant sits before a committee to tell their story and share why they want to be a part of the program. And they can send these applications while still incarcerated. Mm. You mentioned the 33% is mm -hmm. the recidivism rate in Indiana. What right. is, how does that stack up nationally? So the national average is 68%. Indiana is less than half of that. But with one in every three people returning to prison, that's still a really relevant issue that communities are working yeah, to solve. We don't want a revolving door. No, sure. we want zero out of three. Yeah, that's so, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nicole. Yep.